Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome to another Black Series review. Yesterday we took like a look at Uber. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series action figure review. Just yesterday we took a look at Balan Skull Mercenary, which is Balan Skull with a hood and rope. We're doing the same with Shinhati Arcana, which is the first planet that Ahsoka appears on, the Night Sisters sort of temple, and she sort of arrives after Ahsoka sort of destroys the place with the HK droids. But she does wear the robe numerous times throughout the series, and at the very beginning of the show, so yeah, again, just another fantastic character, really sort of captured me along with Balin. And uh, yeah, she's fantastic. It looks great on the side. The artwork is fantastic. So we'll do a little side by side with the with the original. Um, but let's bust it open and have a look. All right, folks. Here is Shinhati Arcana out of the packaging. She's got a robe. Doesn't seem to be too different from the original, if anything at all. We're going to take a look, though. She comes with the robe, obviously. Accessories-wise, does come with her lightsaber. Which, again, got this sort of almost... They've almost got that orangey hue to it. And, again, it depends on light, you know. It is still very much red. Um, but, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the, uh, the orange blades. <clears throat> So there's a hilt. I think it's a really nice lightsaber hilt. I think it looks great. It does peg in. The unfortunate thing, much like Balin's, is that real sort of soft plastic. So, you know, maybe on the next one, <laughs> you know, when they get to series two and they continue the story of uh, Balin and Shin, maybe we can get uh, a nice updated lightsaber hilt. Or well, hopefully the vintage collection versions will have you know, something a little bit better. I can learn from the improvements, learn from these ones, given the uh, size, height, the buckle. We spoke about that briefly in the Balin Skull video before. But again, I'd like to talk about the robes. I think they've done a really good job with this one. She's wearing like a, you know, a, a classic brown. Whereas Balin's was a, was a deep green. But uh, I will do a little side-by-side -side with the uh, original Shin, which I sort of did customise a little bit. Um, but yeah, I thought we'd just take the robe off and take a look. So at first glance, I don't think she appears to be too different. I'll do a little side-by-side -side in a moment. I think they've uh, captured the likeness of Ivana Sanko very, very nicely. I think she looks great. Yeah, very similar. I did attempt to do a little bit of a wash on the hair. Didn't come out the best, but I gave it a crack. Yeah, there's not too much difference there. You know, just some slight differences just in the way the paint's been applied. As you can see, I did a little bit of weathering on her, on her outfit as well, on this version. On the right, there's this one's nice and clean. So I really do like her outfit. Don't know, there's something about that sort of V sort of shape on the on the chest. Same with Balin's. You know, they've got this similar sort of. I'd love to know the history of where they got their where they got their outfits or whether it's something they've, that's inspired them to make them like that, but they're very similar. You know, they've both got the uh, tie up at the back. I do like the shoulder armor, the gauntlets on the arms. Oh, I do like the hip armor there. I think that's really cool. She's got the armor on her. <laughs> no pun intended on her shins. Yeah, 
Yeah, on the knees as well. She's looking pretty good. I do, I do like this figure a lot, even if it isn't any different to the original, which is only, you know, a year and a bit old, or a year old. And uh, yeah, that sort of little height difference that they had um, was the only thing that really stopped these two from getting into my top 10 last year was that sort of little height debacle. But uh, yeah, again, I hope by the time the Vintage Collection get Shin and Balin there, they're correctly scaled. I think that's going to be a big win for TVC collectors, which I am one of. If they get that right. We'll go through the articulation. She does have a ball joint in the top of the head. Ball joint in the neck. She's got the ball hinges in the shoulders. It's got the uh, the butterfly joint there as well. Ball hinge in the shoulders. She has hinges in the wrists. Ball joint in the torso. She does have the barbell hips. The hinge in the knees. Hinge in the ankles. And the rocker joint in the foot. And we'll just put her on with the trusty KR stands. Well, let's do a little side by side, the time beside the uh, the first one, because I did do a little bit of a height fix on that one. Let me get them truly side by side. You can see there's a slight little height difference. I um took the legs off of uh, I think it was Vel Sartha and put the knee armor on. And uh, yeah, just doing looking at this figure now, I did put it on upside down when I put them back on, but not a big deal. It just sort of brought the height down a little bit, but I'm not seeing, now that I've got these two side by side, I'm not really seeing a great deal of difference. The lightsabers across is really not that much. If I get her next to uh, Balin, which is this is the uh, the one with the Reaver legs. They kind of look okay together, to be honest. I'd... No, they don't look too bad, height-wise. Maybe she could be a little bit shorter, but. For the sake of the uh, the action figure shelf, I don't think it's too much of a big deal, to be honest. Yeah, a couple of really nice figures. Really love having these two together again. Seeing them side by side like this is really nice. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for tuning in. I do appreciate your time. If you're new, subscribe. Hit the little notification bell and all that kind of YouTube stuff. I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, we'll catch up with you very soon. Till then, may the Force be with you all. Always. We would be honored if you would join us.